guys, it's DJ Do Daddy and welcome to today's video. Now, today's video is a little bit different than the videos I've filmed previously. So if you do like this type of video, please let me know and I'll do more videos like this. You can check out that i button up there to vote if you would like or a comment down below if you can't access the i button. Either way is cool with me. So in today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how I edit my videos. Pretty much um, also some tips and tricks on iMovie because I do edit my videos on iMovie. This video is not for beginners, so if you are a beginner on iMovie, please just check out some other videos and then come straight back here. Please don't leave me. Please come back because this has some really great tips and tricks. And so I'm going to be going through different techniques that I use and showing you an example of them and then showing you how I made that example. Let's hop right on into this video. I'm kind of feeling that there should be an emoji right here. You know, like right now. Maybe one over here? Oh, I have a great idea. What about put an emoji on my face? It can be anyone. Editing Grace, do your magic. Whoa, I'm some sort of emoji now, and I don't even know which one. <laughs> Isn't this cool? So to add PNG images, I'm simply dragging a PNG image into the slot where I would like it and selecting picture in picture. Then I'm going to the crop thingy and choosing fit. Now you need to adjust the size of your image so that it is not too big for the picture. And also make sure that it is in the right place so it pops up when wanted. And in the picture it should be above my hand. So I'm adjusting that, and after that, making sure that it is up for the right amount of time that I need it to be. Then, I am repeating this with all the other ones. Choosing picture and picture, fit, and then adjusting the size, location on the screen, um, amount of time that it is shown, and replaying it. Then, you're done. This editing trick is really simple. I'm just putting a bunch of clips together to make it look like I can change my what I'm wearing by snapping my fingers. So to do this, just some tricks are to keep the camera in the same place and make sure you are standing in the same place and relatively same position to make sure that you get this effect that you haven't moved because what I did is I changed from my PJs and I literally walked away and I put this on and then I walked back to the exact same spot made sure that I was in pretty much the exact same position this is a really easy trick but you don't really have to know any iMovie things it's just about the way you film it so as you can see here I just have two clips of me put together and I tried to get the same position and camera angles like I previously said and then I added music to make it more interesting. So to use reversed fast and slow, I first have a music clip underneath. I always have music clips under things without sound. So this is the clip to begin with and pretty much it's just me taking out my hair, but I think I thought it would be really cool to reverse this. So what I'm going to do is using the spikes of the music, the larger the spike, I'm choosing to split the clip there because it'll give it a really cool effect and I'm putting this first clip into fast because I was going kind of slow in the initial video so speeding things up made it look a lot better now I am once again splitting on a spike of the music and then we are going to add the reverse function so to do this I am going to make sure that I have the spot that I want and then click reverse in the speed section with this little timer on it and then I'm just watching over this because I want to make sure that it looks good and you can uh, split the clips more and I eventually did also slow-mo some parts of it to just make it look a lot cooler because reverse does look really cool in slow motion 
And then eventually I got to the final product, which was the example that you just saw. So to make it look as though you have two of yourself or you cloned yourself, what you're going to want to do is I have two different clips of me scootering and I'm putting one on top of the other. Make sure that they are the same lengthwise and I'm just making sure that I have the points that I want. Then I am choosing green to blue screen and here you can pretty much drag and it'll make your picture part one of the pictures and part another of the pictures. So you just want to be very careful not to cut any of yourself on either of the pictures off so that it looks realistic. And obviously here I saw that the color of the road was a little bit different in both of the pictures. So I chose to go to the effects button which pretty much looks like a bunch of circles. And I chose to put it in black and white. This did help out a little bit. I'm just using the effect of black and white because I thought it would look more similar. But on the first clip, the camera is kind of wobbly. So it didn't really work as well as I would like it to. But definitely, if the camera wasn't wobbly, you would not be able to tell that there is any editing being done. Some other tips while you are filming. The camera should not be wobbly, uh, like I mine was a little bit wobbly, but also make sure that it is the same time of day uh, because as you can see with mine as well, the colors were a little bit different so I did have to put it in black and white. You should have the same color as a background and the hue should be the same. Also make sure that your camera does not switch places. That would look super duper weird. Those are just some tips if you are going to try and clone yourself. Adding a freeze frame to a photo or a video can actually be a super simple way to give your video a little more character. So I just have this video of me throwing leaves up into the sky. What I am going to do is I'm going to split the clip right before I want to freeze it. I'm going to right click and choose add freeze frame and then this is going to bring up this stop sign and I'm going to adjust the amount of time that I want it to be freezed. And then you are done. You can just add some music. And I also did add a little reverse clip in the end. But you can go back to the reverse section if you do not remember how to reverse. <laughs> I think it's time for a solo dance party. <laughs> So to show you guys some extra effects, I have just split the clip where the different peaks are in the music like I have done previously. Then I'm beginning on the first little split clip and I'm choosing a crop filter for that. Then I'm moving on to my second one and choosing a different crop filter. It doesn't really matter which crop filters you choose. I just chose ones that looked kind of cool. Then for this third clip, I went to the crop button and I chose to flip the clip upside down by pressing the button twice and then for the fourth one I am using Ken Burns. I'm using this to show where my croc is. Pretty much I flipped my croc up in this section so I wanted to follow the croc around. I went back to right before where my croc was flipped and I used crop to fill to just zoom in on my face while I was flipping the croc. Then I went back to my Ken Burns section which was a lot smaller and followed around the croc. This part definitely took the longest for me to do. I had to make sure that I got all the croc in all the way to the very top of the frame. So I just kept on dragging around the start and end points on the Ken Burns function. And then I 
finished that and began to edit when my croc fell down. So I wanted to zoom in on the part where I caught the croc. So to do this, I'm simply doing the crop to fill filter, which is just cropping it in to the part where I caught it and then I had the final part of that little section. So now I'm going to go back to using crop filters because after all this is a dance party so I'm just choosing a couple more for the next split clips to finish out my dance party. After I have all of those clips I wanted to kind of choose to do two things at once so I used the crop to fill and then I also used a crop filter at the same time and then also chose to do this and I flipped it and used a crop filter so you can do two things at once then for the second to last clip I finished it out with another little crop filter and then a simple ending is just to use the crop to fill and I zoomed in on my final pose. So now you are done with your dance party. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, let me know by liking it. I'll see you guys next week with another video. I have an announcement. I am going to be vlogging over Thanksgiving break and as you guys know, Saturday of next week for most people begins Thanksgiving break. If not, I'm just like so sorry for you because we get a week off for Thanksgiving break so on that day next week I'm going to be starting to vlog so some at some point next weekend I'm going to be uploading my first ever Thanksgiving vlog for this year. So yeah, stay tuned for that next week now. Bye! I'm Bella. And I'm here to say that you should subscribe to D -D -D Daddy's channel. Oh yeah, and while you're at it, you should check out her previous videos. Why? Well, because I'm cute.